Deal or no deal on four. 22 boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one. Question. Welcome to deal or no deal. Do you know why this show is so successful and why it's been so successful for so many years? Is it about red boxes? No. Is it about giving away money? No. Is it about the skill with the banker? No. It is attention to detail. And I have noticed that there has been something wrong in the East Wing for a little while now. It's attention to detail that breeds success, ladies and gentlemen. And you could well look at that and think, that's his name which it might be, but in one case here in the East Wing, it is actually a warning. Would you excuse me while I just bring the show back into line? Excuse me. Yeah. All right, there we go. How much gin did you have last night? I didn't have any. What? I didn't have any. You didn't have any? No. Sorry. But that's better, isn't it? Because <laughs> you do like your gin, don't you? She could have been being a debt, of course. Or she could have been wine owner. But anyway. Oh, come on! <laughs> Here come the names. Oh, and I should point out that here on Deal, we promote responsible banker spanking, don't we? Martin? <laughs> Come on, Martin, it is your big opportunity. The crazy chair has your name on it. Trow. Traw. Martin Traw. <laughs> County Durham, a car salesman. Yep. God, how's the, uh, how's business? It's pretty good, actually. You, like, you wouldn't think there's a recession because people are still interested in buying cars because I think it's more of a self-conscious thing if you have a car, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's all status but, Yeah. really. Okay. So I think some of it's part of that, but right. uh, it's been really good for business, yeah. Good? Well, uh, because you've got a rubbish car, haven't you? Oh, oh really bad. Nan and Grandma bought a thing which I was really grateful for. So I went, I went and bought the car, came home, basically had a broken back axle, and one thing's led to another. So I've spent about £2,000 repairing it, which my nan and granddad's donated a bit of money, so I need to pay them back. And um, now it's got no heater and uh, blown exhaust. So, uh, right, so the ace car salesman um, <laughs> couldn't quite spot the right car to buy for himself. Oh, but I was, I was in a different job then, so... Oh, we? Yeah. All right. Well, tell me about the army you've brought. Um, that's my girlfriend, Amy, there. And then in the back row there, it's my granddad, Bobby, and me, Nana, Hi, Cathy. Hi, Cathy. Hi, yeah. Hello, Amy. Hi, yeah. And you've been together for nearly two years. Yeah. And he says you are a stunner. <laughs> Does and he? he adores you, and you bring him good luck, I believe. Do I? Yeah. That's what it says in the file here. <laughs> yeah. And why does she call you P? Wait, I don't really know. Explain that, because, like, I Because <laughs> when we first met, we had, like, a lot in common, and we used to say we were two peas in a pod, uh, and it just came oh. from there. <laughs> oh. Okay, what else? And that's, obviously, uh, my nana and granddad there. Um, what have we got a picture? We've got the real thing. Because I didn't know if they were coming Oh, I see. Or not. Okay. Um, All right, well, so, they're here now, so we don't yeah. need to look at that. We've got a much better, yeah, these, much better thing here. They've been really good with us. Like, um, they've been on holiday recently, but I want to... Take them, I want to like give them some money to go on holiday to like Hawaii because that was one of the best places that they wanted to go. Brilliant. So I'd love to do that. For okay, them, that's yeah. good. We like that as an ambition. Thank you. Yeah. 
fantastic. Are you happy to crack on with this? Oh, definitely. Yeah? yeah. You ready for it? Oh, um, can it wait? OK, Pete, I need you please to confirm that you chose box 14 at random before the game began. I did, yes. It's sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. You wouldn't have a system, would you? Um, I've got some numbers that I'd like to keep. Right. Um, but other than that, it's just completely random. All right. Martin, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Right then, um, could I start off with number 11, Lillian, please? Go on, find the P for the P. <laughs> Good enough, Martin, Thank you're you. a lovely boy. Too. Will it be a hat-trick? Will it be a third game in a row where the one P is the first one out of the box? Well, we'll soon find it. Good luck. That's a bit of a contrast. No. Oh, well, you're not going to be our first male quarter millionaire. Come on, Martin. Bobby and Kathy, do you, do you want to stay or do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> Number 12, Gary, please. You're a top guy. You really are. You're going to be really missed. Cheers, pal. Let's start these blues rolling. Ah, uh, hopefully. No. It's all right, yeah. Not having the best of luck, am I? Well, you've only opened two. Don't write it off yet. Ah, You're well. going to do three blues now. Hopefully. Um, could I have Bessie number seven, please? Bessie! Can we have a blue, please? I hope so. Best of luck. Cheers. That's happened. Um, can I have Michelle number 16, please? Blue, please, Michelle. No mucking about. Come on, straight oh, out with it. Yeah! Told you. Now do the third one. Number 22, please. Lane. All right, Elaine. Yes, thank you. Yeah, you? another blue. You heard what I said. Three in a row. Thank you. Good luck, Martin. Thank you. Oh, what an opening round. Quarter million, balanced by the 1P, totally unbalanced by the 100,000. <laughs> What's the banker going to make of you, then? Hopefully, he'll, be, he'll like us enough to uh, give us a decent amount. Hello, banker. <laughs> yeah, I'm good today, thank you. P's here. A little pretty poor, is here. Oh, yeah, we better make it quick, this game. Must be nearly his bedtime, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he's up to it, yes. Oh, I think he's definitely up to it. Yeah, oh, I think so. Yeah, oh, no, he'd have, the bank is, doesn't think you're up to it. Does he not? No, he doesn't think you're up to this challenge. You'll get a shot, won't you? Yeah. Ah, oh, well, that's nice. You got a two-part offer. Oh, cool. Terrible opening round. Uh, but the little boy gets a train set and 750 quid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's nice. I didn't find out what gauge it was. Oh, did you not? No. <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter. Ask us the question anyway. Oh, my word, you're off already. Yep. 750 pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> will, you uh, will you do me a favour and just have a quiet round? This is just a bit too much for my nerves, this. Oh. Down there, up there, down there, up there. Come on, just a very nice, low value round. Right. No problem at all. Number one. Good pal, oh, Sid. Oh, Sid. Good luck to you, Bob. Oh, yeah. sorry You're to wake you. Lad. Hope you get <laughs> nice blue one. Three that's grand, that's all right. That's exactly what we Can 
Can I have number 20, please, Carol? Carol, another low one, please. All the best, Martin. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah! Really brave now, aren't you? Like Tim Peel after gun now, like. Yeah, but there's a bigger challenge coming, and I know you'll have practiced, you'll have rehearsed, you know exactly what you're going to say. Come back to my game uh, because you're going to see my dreams come true. Yeah. yeah. Come back, have a break now, and I'll just change this map. and down game is Marty. He's only seven, but he's really, <laughs> really focusing on this. Anne's girlfriend calls him P and uh, his grandparents, Kathy and Bobby, are here. And uh, what do you want to spend the money on, apart from a big thank you for, to your grandparents? Um, if I win enough, um, like a lot of money, about like 35000 I'd love to um, go and see Pearl Harbor, because I'm, I'm like that type thing, and if I had all the millions in the world, I'd love to go underwater to see Titanic. You're interesting, you are. Uh, right then. Well, we uh, we need to get you some big money. Right. For... What do you reckon, guys? Who's got the ten pence? Aurora, number ten, please. Ah, Aurora, we think you've got the ten p. <sighs> please give us some luck. Good, yeah. Oh man! What am I gonna do? Quarter of a million, hundred thousand, now the fifty thousand out of your game. Both for the bank will give us uh, some sympathy vote, like. Well, yeah, you might. Uh, seven hundred and fifty pounds in a train set. You might. Uh, you might give us two train sets. Well, you might get a signal box now and a level crossing to go with it. Hello. Oh, you like this game, don't you? No, it's not going well for little Martin at the moment. Yes, he is going to have to try harder selling cars. That's pretty good going. Okay, uh, you've had a terrible start so far. And he was very tempted <laughs> just to go down to £75 to see what it would do. Right. Whether it would puncture your enthusiasm. As it is, he's going up to £1,000. Oh, that's good. That I don't know. I think in a funny sort of way you've impressed the banker. Nice. I'm pleased with that offer, like, um, but obviously I've got a kind of target set in mind, so... Have you? Yeah. What, well, it was 35 grand flew out of your mouth? No, you can ask us a question, please. Uh, a thousand pounds, deal or no deal? Thanks very much, but no deal. Thank you, Martin. Come on! a new positive attitude. Right then. The lovely Shana, number eight, please. Oh. Good luck, Martin, baby. I Thanks hope so it's much. a blue. I hope it's a 10 p. Thanks so much. Number 18. Yeah! I wasn't Cal, mate. One of my best pals. Number 4, Cal. Good luck, Martin. I really hope this is a good chase, pal. So you finally managed a round without a big groan. Um, ah, hello. Yes, first half decent round. 
Yes. I had, <laughs> I had noticed that. Yes. <laughs> I'll get him to come back. Martin! Sorry. Sit down and shut up. <laughs> Says the banker. Where were you going? Yeah, going to see Dan for a minute. You were going to see Dan for a moment when we're talking to the most important man in your life at this moment. You were wandering off to have a little chat with him over there. Just see my advice and give us a start. I apologise, banker. Thank you very much. Well, Martin, quote... Despite your lack of interest in my money and the game, I am prepared to purchase your box now for £3,750, unquote. So what did you want to ask him? Um, thank you very much, Mr Banker. Um, it's just to see what you reckon of it, to be honest with you. I'd carry on. I would. I think there's another round there. I think you can afford to lose one of the lower reds as long as you counteract it. Uh, you, may, you, you really need to try and get a couple top left. And I think you can probably afford to lose one lower red with that. Oh, you are, I reckon, like... Yeah, on the back yeah, side, yeah. Really. Oh, well, then. Let's have it. Yeah? Yeah. £3,750. Deal or no deal? Thanks very much, Mr Banker. No idea. Thank you. Right. Then you might get the money up. Right then. Oh, then that's our number 17, mate. Help us out, eh? All right, Hassan. Would you buy a car from this lad? No. No. <laughs> Join the queue. Why not? <laughs> Martin, good luck. I hope it's blue. Thanks very much, mate. Ah, uh, it's all fine, right. Right. It's all right. right. Let's not panic about that. Two blues now, and that's fine. Two blues. We want four of four at eight bucks. It's right. <sighs> time to ask Amy. She's your good luck charm. I was remember? just about to say, you know, I was, I was, I was keeping um, two, six, was it nine? Because on a phone, it texts Amy. So I was oh. going to keep that. Oh, get me a bucket. <laughs> So sweet. Oh, isn't that lovely? Right then. Oh, and David, mate. One of my best pals, I guess. Number 19. Mate, you're going to be missed. All right, good luck, mate. Oh, you Oh, no, 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 you did not want that. Yeah, God. Now oh. it's gone horrible. <laughs> Unbalanced. <laughs> Sarah, please. Good luck, Martin. I really hope it's a blow. Thank Keep you. positive. Oh, All I'll right. try. Hold it! <laughs> <laughs> come on, salesman of the year. Tell them why they should come back then. Come on, ace salesman. Sell your game. Right. You should come back because I am going to spank the bunker. Would you buy a car from me? <laughs> come back. We're going to turn it around. Believe me, he is going to win. That holiday money for his grandparents. Martin, but to all who know, love and respect him, he's known as P. <laughs> so, how are you doing, Martin? I'm fine. I'll be better once I get there. Uh, some of them blues. Yeah, well, Sarah is poised. Still going there? She hasn't uh, pulled uh, the seal, so you could change your mind. No, go for it. Well, you're desperate for a blue. We're absolutely desperate for a blue. Sarah, please, can we have I'm a really blue? I'm really positive. I think it is a can blue. We have a, it is a blue. A, a teensy blue. I 
needed that, I tell you. There's still a lot of money in this game. <laughs> Definitely, yep. But I think you're going to have to have some courage now. Hello, banker. Oh. I know he's bounding around all over your wooden floor here. I can hear it creaking and groaning under his weight. Thank you very much. I agree with him. It's an interesting board, and this is an interesting decision for you. £6,000. What do you reckon, guys? Offer. Good offer. Yeah. Good offer, wasn't it? Martin, yeah. Martin. Yeah. Martin. Yeah. that's a cracking offer that. Ah. You start thinking about it now. It's a yeah. very good offer that. It's brilliant, Martin. I mean, you've been bouncing up and down for the last three, four days now. I mean, you, you of all people would know what that can do for yourself, so. Uh, Martin, just slow down and think about it. Yeah. It's just that bored, like, I've had so much bad luck and it can change. Martin, there's still five blues there, mate, and three very nice reds. Could be worth another round. Martin, one thing I will say, remember Tracy's game. She uh -huh. had the one box she wanted to keep was the blue. So be prepared now to think, uh, look at all uh -huh. the boxes. Don't yeah. just think about numbers you want to keep because it could be, they could be anywhere. So uh -huh. just take your time and... Definitely. Who's talking to you now, mate? The gambler in you? Or is it Martin? That's what you're going to look at. I don't know, because I've always said I prepared the gun all the way, like, um, but with a reason. It's just, it's been really good to us, that's all, so I don't want to, like, disrespect them type thing. But, all right, ask us a question. £6,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Right then, how will them Roy, mate? Since you're giving us a bit of support, let's boost it up a bit, eh? Martin, if there's a blue in this, I want you bouncing around here. Oh, I'll do cartwheels all the way bouncing. around here. <laughs> oh, that'll be. I mean, bounce. Honest. Right, Roy, open box 21 and please make it blue. We want to cheer. You said you're holding on to, so it's 13, 5, or 50. Mm. Do I dare, Marie? Ooh. Why take the risk if you don't have to? It's up to you, Mount. You had a small one last time, though, didn't you? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. You had 50p yesterday. <sighs> How old are Marie? Number five. Really? Yep. You definitely, sure? Definitely, yep. Oh, he's going to be banging off the walls if this is a blue. <laughs> Marie, please, lose your old ways. I'll come back to them. Good luck, Marty. I hope this is a blue one. Thank you, Mum. Geordie pal. Yeah? Number Definitely. 13. Number 13, I wouldn't. I tell you, seriously, Martin, this would be a magical moment to have an all-blue round. It really would. I really do hope this is a blue for you, Martin. Oh, I'm going to miss you. Oh, you can't look. Oh, oh, no! I knew it. I knew it. Oh, and now you really are chasing the money, Martin. That was unlucky, wasn't it? Yeah, it says to hit it in the last box. That was tough, Martin.
brace yourself. How much did you decline at the last offer? Six grand. Six grand. Your box is now worth two and a half. That is a big crash. What are you thinking? I think I might have to go all the way, like. What do you think, Amy? Two thousand's a lot of money, but you've got a lot more on there. Bobby? She would have wanted to decide. I would go. I would go for it. Would you, Kathy? Yeah. Ah, but you got more bottle than me, though. <laughs> Not really. We should name your son and now that's a difference. You've got to decide that. Martin, you just said to me before we came out here you would go all the way if you had to. And I think if you want big money, I think you're going to have to. I, I, I know I should, but it's just the fact that I can pay off my debts with interest to me nan and granda. Martin, would you be happy going home with the blue? 750, I'd be okay because I can just. That pays off most of it, like. It's just a simple fact and all, though, like, I've got the rest of my life ahead of us as well, so I can earn a lot more money, but you're here only once, aren't you, so... I just can't bear the fact of, like, not having my debts to pay off, though. We're not pushing you for your debt, mine, Martin. I know, but I want to pay it off. Ask us the question. Two and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. say something really helpful. Instead he said, boy oh boy, are you going to live to regret that decision? So, which three? Do you reckon I should just take all your three out? E and Y? Do it. See where I go at? Yeah. Okay, I need you to confirm which one you want to open first. How are we done? Number nine, mate. Um, every single time where we think we're getting good luck out of the game, we get a kick. I want a 10,000, 35,000 finish because that was a very brave no deal. Even though the banker thinks he's going to live to regret it. Dan, give us the first blue, please. Good luck, mate. I hope this is blue. Perfect start. Perfect start. I'm going to miss you, mate. I'm going to miss you, mate. Number six. Good luck, Martin. Oops, it's blue. Oh, oh, it's all right. Ten thousand dollars on this one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're still in it. You still got the big one. Oh God. Rolly, swing on. This is enormous. You are on, going yeah. over there. Yeah? Harry, number two, come on. OK, he's confirmed it, Roly. Pull the seal on box two for us first, please. Put your hands on the side of the lid. Give us a blue. Please. <laughs> All right, this is going to be very interesting because uh, <laughs> your courage is not in doubt. Little P, your courage is not in doubt. Is it okay if I can speak the banker, please? If I'll it's ask. okay with him, I... I'll ask him. Don't try and sell him a car. <laughs> oh, God. Hello. He would 
like a word with you. Is that all right? He says, in view of the fact that you proved him wrong, he will acquiesce. Thank you. Hiya. Well, you're the banker, you should be off the me. No. I want more. Definitely. There's, there's th Mr. Banker, there's £35,000 on that board, man. Cheers. How much? £6,100. I think he's done that so he can entice you into uh, trying to spank him. That would be the top of your game by a hundred pounds. Martin, it's still a big sum of money. I, don't, I know, like, I don't want you going home with blue as well. No, but just think about it carefully. Yeah. I really thought you'd have, you'd have offered more, but I can't really disrespect them, can I? Martin, Martin, that is a nice little sum of money, and that will pay off your debt. And think of all the money you'll have left to spend. Oh, Martin, thanks. don't you think it's strange how you said 35,000 there earlier, early on in the game? You mentioned that sum of money. Was that an omen? You might never forgive yourself, Martin, if you take that. You'll only be down here once. Martin. Sorry, Mark. I was expecting around eight, admittedly. Oh, yeah, I wasn't but all. it's a good offer. And what you've got to think is there's a man standing there saying £6,100 yeah, exactly. or a flip of a coin. Yeah. And so it's either going to be a penny or 35 And that is entirely on how you're feeling yeah. and how lucky. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I can't risk it. Ask us the question. So I think we know what the answer's going to be now, then. £6,100. <laughs> Deal... Or no deal? No deal. While I was pausing, not to increase your agony, but I was wondering if the phone was going to ring and the swap was coming, and obviously it's not going to. So, Martin, I really, really hope that that gamble... <laughs> Hello? That that gamble, comma, is about to pay off. <laughs> OK, you shocked him at the last, the last offer. Uh, but now I am authorised to say, Martin, swap or no swap. <laughs> so, Martin, swap or no swap? No swap. Thank you. <laughs> all right, then. You've left us in no doubt at all just how much this money would mean to you. It's an opportunity to pay off debts for your grandparents, and quite clearly an opportunity for them to have a great holiday, for you to have a holiday, and at the age of 18, to do a lot with your life with 35,000. <sighs> Martin, I really, really hope I am bringing 35,000 pounds into your life. <laughs> Well, you have nothing to be ashamed of. You gave it your very best shot. And that sort of attitude, young man, is going to do you very well in the years to come. I'm sorry it's only a pound. It's been a real pleasure to meet you. 
and good luck in your career. Thank you. Deal or no deal on 4OD by visiting channel4.com. Next, Paul O'Grady.